she is lit. Wow. Um, Dean got me a ring light for my birthday. Hi, I'm Alexis. Hello, how are you? I just started talking. Dean got me a ring light for my birthday and wow. You can actually, like, look, I'm all backlit and you can see it in the, in the reflection. I'm all backlit and shit and you can still see me. Oh my god, I love this ring light. Let me know if it's too bright or if you need it brighter. You know, I, it's my first time actually using it. So let me know, <laughs> let me know what's going on. So anyways, today I'm gonna show you how I do my go-to makeup look. Super easy, simple, definitely stuff that you can add or subtract depending on your, I am blind right now. <laughs> definitely stuff that you can add or subtract depending on your needs or what you like and don't like to wear. This is also kind of my version of the glass skin trend. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. I love the glass skin look. I don't have good skin. Um, so I can't really do glass skin. So this is my, this is how I do it for myself. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, I don't wear foundation with this look. I do a tinted moisturizer. This is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I wear this in the shade nude. Um, I did get this in gratis. So Laura Mercier did give this to me. Thank you, Laura Mercier. Um, normally I would apply this with the foundation brush from Makeup Forever, so just like a paddle brush, but I left all of my brushes that I brought to Dean's house at Dean's house, so I don't have the brush for this. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender instead. I bought this for myself for my birthday, and if it's pink, I'm gonna be mad. If you didn't see this for holiday, it's like, where is it? Like three different colors and then like a new mystery color or whatever that you could get. So let's see, let's see if it's pink. Just cause I could have bought a pink one if I wanted a pink one, you know what I mean? I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder cause I can't believe how well I can actually see myself. <sighs> I can't get it open. So it's box, it's a bag, it's pink. I could have just bought a pink one. Oh, I forgot there's a soap in here too. Anyways, I'm gonna go wet this, I'll be right back. Okay, so I wet my beauty blender so I can actually put this on now. I'm just gonna put it straight onto the beauty blender. So I guess we'll chit chat while we're here because this is such an easy look. Um, hello. So like I said, Dean got me a ring light for my birthday. So I'm hoping that I can really start getting back into making videos because now I don't have to worry about lighting so much. Um, there's a hair and I don't know where it is. I depend on natural lighting because I didn't have any artificial lighting to use and now that I have it with my hectic schedule between work and school, I'll be able to actually make videos regardless of what time it is or what the weather looks like. Like today, you can probably tell, it's a little sad out there. I'm in New York. It's cold. It's winter. <laughs> oh no, am I going to blind you if I lift up my mirror? No? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have that everywhere. My skin's peeling. I'm developing eczema on my face. Cool. Within the last couple of years, I've started developing seasonal eczema. And this year it decided it wanted to start on my face. So that's nice. Okay, so that's on. Next, I'm gonna do concealer. I've been using, where did it go? The Avocado, Bendy Avocado Concealer. This is from First Aid Beauty. Um, I know a lot of people when this came out were like, oh, the shade range, because there's only like six shades. And my response to that, and this is not an excuse to, for First Aid Beauty, but my response to that is, this is a lot of concealer. First Aid Beauty is a skincare brand. They're not a makeup brand. They do not specialize in makeup. That's not, that's not what they do. So for them to even come out with a concealer is not their world to begin with. So I feel like you shouldn't have expected a big shade range from them because that's not their forte. Even their like goji berry tinted, whatever the heck it is, only has like five shades. So really that was your first clue that they would not have had a big shade range for their concealer. Anyways, that's my thought on that. It's the whole like cancel culture that's like, oh, the they came out with only five shades. And I'm like, they're a skincare brand. <laughs> they didn't have to come out with anything. But that's my thoughts on that. And we'll talk more about cancel culture in another video. Because I have a lot of thoughts about that. Now that I have grown. <laughs> 
and matured. So anyways, blending this in. Normally I would blend this in with a brush also, another Makeup Forever brush. I think it's like a crease brush or something like that. Um, but it's very oddly shaped, so I use it to blend in concealer because that's just kind of what it's shaped like. So anyways, blend this all in. Oh my god, I'm peeling everywhere. This is a tragedy. And while I'm here, I'm going to cover this spot. That was my fault. I tried to extract it when it wasn't ready. Okay, so that is the base done. I don't powder this because I don't feel like it. So I don't do any powder. For brows, I literally just take my Gimme Brow. Where is it? I can find it. I just take my Gimme Brow. I use the shade 3. And I kind of like scribble it in. Like I don't just paint through it like, you know, normal people would just like go like that. I, I look at this. What am I doing? I shove it in there. I make sure that like all the hairs are coated in like every direction and then I brush them where they're supposed to be. Because I feel like, hmm, what's going on with my lighting now? There we go. I'm, I'll figure this out. I'm sorry. Bear with me. You know what I think it is? I think it's the mirror. Okay. Because I feel like when I just brush through like this, it's just getting the top of the hair and it's not really like filling in the spaces, which this Gimme Brow is not really meant to fill in spaces. I need another mirror. But um, I just feel like it gives a fuller brow effect if I just wriggle it in there like that. Does that make sense? Because I'm like coating all of the hair rather than just coating the top of it. And that works for me. <laughs> for my eyes, all I do is take um, the Marc Jacobs highlighter, any black liner, this is just the one I've been using for this, um, black liner, and I'm just gonna put it in my tight line, which is the top inside, like underneath your lashes, basically. Um, and I just wriggle this in there, and that's, that's about it, and mascara. So I'm gonna put this on, put on, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then I, I will return to you. Okay, so I've done that, and I think I've picked a bad spot to sit. Maybe next time I won't sit right here. But anyways, um, I've done that. Next, I don't contour with this look, because that's just, that's just too much work. So, I just take my bronzer, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Nobody is surprised that I'm using this. If you're new here, hi, I only use Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's a problem. It's, 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 it's an issue at this point. But anyways... Although I do have the contour kit from Smashbox, and sometimes I use that one because um, I feel like that bronzer is a little warmer than this Too Faced one is. So if I'm doing like a warmer look, if I feel like I need a little bit more warmth in my face, I'll do that one instead of this one. But this one, the Too Faced, is my absolute favorite. So anyways, just bronzing it up, putting some color back in my skin. Okay, so I'm, so look at how glowy I am. You see what I mean about the bronze, the bronze skin, the glass skin thing? So anyways, bronzer, blush, I've been using this again. Anyone remember this? I, I don't even think they make these blushes anymore. These are the Too Faced um, Love Flush blushes, and I use the shade Baby Love, which is the most, like, neutral out of all of them. Um, the most, like, nothing kind of blush, because those are my favorite kinds of colors. I would rather be bronzy than blushy, although lately I've been liking a little bit more blush. I don't know what it is. Times have changed. So I'm just popping that on my cheeks. Just for like a healthy flush of color. Nothing too fancy. I think I need a monitor now, because now I can't really see if I'm in focus or anything with the light behind me. Um, to highlight, I have the um, Luminizing Palette, the Illuminate Palette from Sephora Collection, and I kind of bounce around between a lot of these colors. These two I don't really use, because this is a little too dark for me, and this is too pink for me. Um, I could probably use it as blush topper if I wanted to. Like, I've dipped into it a couple times to try it, but I feel like it doesn't look right. Um, 
at least not on the looks that I've used it for. So I usually use the really pale gold up here or this lighter like soft pink here and I think I'm going to use the pink today. I just really like that tone on me for some reason. And I highlighter it up. I put it everywhere like I'm already glowing from the um, tinted moisturizer. Don't have any powder on really. I got cut off, rude. As I was saying, I am glowing and I like it. Cause again, I'm trying to like create that glass skin look without really doing the glass skin look. I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to properly do glass skin, but this is how I've been doing it. And of course I'm piling it on my Cupid's bow cause that's my favorite place to highlight. Beautiful. Glowing. For the lip, because this look is literally so nothing, you could do whatever you want. If you wanted to do a bold lip and um, have that be your main focus, you can do that. If you wanted like just a lip balm, whatever. Do whatever you want. I've been using the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is just the regular, like the, what? The original, what am I saying? Gloss Balm, the Fenty Glow. So I've just been putting this on because it feels nice and it's a good, like nothing color. I hate the applicator though because it's so picks up so much product so this is the finished look like i said super easy simple that's why it's a go-to i don't have to think about this look i can just go and like be done like my makeup's on i can leave i look so shiny <laughs> the light wow um i'm sorry again for any like technical issues i was having a lot of issues i i think it's I think it's the window. I think I can't sit in front of the window with the light um, or use this mirror with the light. But anyways, thanks for bearing with me. I will figure it out. Or if you have any tips, <laughs> let me know. Your girl could use some help. But yeah, this is the finished look. And like I said, I hope I can film more and be more like engaged in my channel <laughs> with the ring light so that I don't have to worry about lighting or anything like that because that's really, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest like roadblock I have is the time that I do have to film, I don't have light, but now I do. So thank you for bearing with me uh, in this time of newness. But yeah, so that's the look and I will see you soon. Bye.